Stop. Horn, lights, siren. Oops. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, hmm. I think we're connected. I think we're connected. He's dragging me along. Oh. Oh, his hubcap's gone flying. Rear door. Wow, he's trunk lit as well. Do not want to to cause him to drive any more aggressively than he already is. This guy is uh, clearly a menace. Excuse me. So, your doors are open and your boot lid's open. I still can't believe he's eluding us and yet he's right there. Uh, we probably don't need that anymore either. Welcome back to another video on Beam NG Drive. Now I'm featuring the Italy map of course once again. Um, I know it's only been a day or so since my first video on this map uh, but I really cannot seem to get over this uh, map and this little vehicle as well. Um, this is the Piccolina and we're looking at the police version of, of the car. And of course what a little vehicle it is. Now what I've done with this as well, I've taken the police version of this vehicle in the game and I've just made some modifications. Uh, the first of which you'll see there is a propped open engine cover just to aid with cooling and uh, also talking about cooling um, we've got a little air scoop here uh, right immediately behind the license plate of course the pierce of resistance is the massive 1.5 liter engine which I've uh, swapped into the vehicle the police version normally has the 1.3 liter or the 1300 cc this is the 1500 cc or the 1.5 liter um, of course the baseline stock version of this vehicle has a lowly 1.1 or 1100 cc engine so uh, 1.5 with a racing exhaust let's go ahead and start her up and see how we go that racing exhaust really sounds the part um, but i really shouldn't be revving this engine while it's cold i realize that so just going to let it warm up a little bit more even though there is a bit of heat in there already. Okay, she's all warmed up so just pardon me while I get into position a little bit. Okay, so let's do a launch and just see uh, how she runs. I must say, driving with the Logitech G27 clutch and head shifter is something else. Okay, so with that out of the way, and we're all warmed up, let's have our first chase of the day. Just going to choose the Miramar Miramatic in pure black. And there he goes, I think. Okay, he's going that way. Alright, let's hit the lights and the siren, shall we? And listen to that siren, isn't it cute? Now I will say that I have actually upgraded the gauge cluster on this vehicle as well. And you'll see there that I'm just flashing my headlights at him uh, to try and stop him. But of course, it's not going to make any difference now, is it? Anyway, uh, I don't think the horn's going to make a difference either, but we'll try. Um, so as I was saying, I have upgraded the gauge cluster here to a more performance version. Mostly because it does provide a, a rev counter and also the oil temperature gauge is a bit more prominent and easier to read than the stock version. Um, stop! I wanted to do this video just using the one police car to see how many, uh, how many bad guys I can stop before my vehicle becomes unserviceable. So. And obviously trying to respect the road rules as much as possible, given the circumstances. Even if that does involve using the indicators. Now my engine's getting a little bit warm here, but uh, we'll press on. Just turn off the siren here because we're kind of in a open area now. See if I can blind this guy with my headlights. The high beams. <laughs> you know, I get the feeling he's not actually going to stop. So I know what will make him stop. Let's use the siren. Probably actually a good idea anyway, because uh, this is a built-up area, and uh, we do want to look after the uh, civilians in the area. 
of course. You can hear that he is an automatic transmission vehicle. He has an automatic transmission vehicle, I should say. Stop! Horn, lights, siren. I might have to, uh, I might have to see if I can give him a bit of a tap. Of course, I don't want to damage my vehicle either. Unfortunately, uh, he does have the weight advantage and possibly a slight acceleration advantage. I'm gunning it now. And I can only fairly even acceleration with him. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Stop, 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 stop. Oops, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, hmm. I think we're connected. I think we're connected. He's dragging me along. He's dragging me along. Um, so, uh, trying to hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. Uh, excuse me. Um, what? I, um, I can't even steer. Hang on a sec. Stop, stop, stop. Excellent. Uh, no, he's trying to get away. Okay, handbrake on. And siren, I'll just hit you with the siren, mate. Good luck. You, my friend, have been apprehended. And my front wheels are in the air. Anyway, tow truck. So, after that first uh, encounter, uh, we seem to have come off virtually unscathed. We have just a little bit of front end damage, but you'll see there that my headlights are still working, which is actually uh, very good. Uh, I have suffered a bit of damage to my license plate and my little air scoop, unfortunately. Uh, but aside from that, uh, just turn the lights off there. <laughs> um, aside from that, yes, my vehicle is um, alarm and even looking good. So, um, unfortunately, my engine is quite warm. So, I'm just going to cruise around for a little bit and uh, just uh, hopefully allow my engine to cool down a little bit before the next baddie shows up. You know, I'm feeling really good, really confident. This feels good. Okay, just um, stopped here by the side of the road. Uh, I have reports of a bad guy nearby. There he is. There he goes. Get him. Okay, just gonna hang a left here. siren. Once you hit him with the siren, they always stop. That's just the way it is. And if that fails, flash them with the high beam. He's really gunning it now. Wow, okay. Oh. It's a bit bumpy around here. Oh my god, he's going the same way as the other guy. They must be working together. I knew it. Okay, just gonna turn the siren off and just let him bask in the warm glow of my uh, my police light bar there. Now this guy has has definitely got the weight advantage over me, so I'm just gonna hit him with the horn as well because I'm sure that's gonna make a difference. Stop! Please stop! Please. Please stop. Right here would be nice. Here, maybe? No? Okay. Oops, indicator's still on. Hang on a sec. Oh! Oh, it's hubcap's gone flying. Rear door. Wow, he's trunk lit as well. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Oh god, there he goes. Ooh, he's left rear tire there. Has seen better days, so, um... We might be able to get him a puncture if we're uh, lucky. Just gonna take it easy here, obviously. Uh, hit him with the siren again, but uh, we don't want to, uh, to cause any damage to our own vehicle. So just gonna take it easy. Oh, oh, take it easy. His vehicle is looking quite worse for wear, so I'm actually quite happy here. Just hanging back a little bit. We are coming up to another built up area. So we do not want to to cause him to drive any more aggressively than he already is. 
this guy is uh, clearly a menace and uh, must be removed from the road um, as uh, post haste uh, as soon as possible yes would be good so um, with that in mind oh please oh stop sign oh god no he's on the wrong side of the road excuse me sir your doors are open and your boot is open your trunk sir your trunk Got the gun second here. The crime. Oh man, he's done a kick down. His transmission has kicked down. Uh, this guy is definitely quite a lot heavier than me, so uh, this should be interesting. I mean, he's already suffered some damage, so if he's a kind of a, a careless sort of driver, as you can see here, uh, hopefully he will off himself before too long. So obviously the goal here is not to. Um, not to do anything stupid or rash that would get us into uh, any trouble mechanically or, or damage our vehicle beyond repair. Um, I am obviously wary that um, our engine is very hot. So um, yeah, we're at uh, 120 degrees plus on our poor oil temperature there. So just gonna try and take it easy here. I will turn off the siren. Um, I am about to roll through a stop sign, please forgive me. Um, I did that before anyway, but uh, anyway. Uh, the things you do, I guess, when you're trying to stop someone who has uh, bits of his car flailing about and hanging off. Uh, turn on the siren, because we're in a built-up area. There's no one coming. Uh, now he's going this way, okay. Watch out the rock. Come on! We don't want to lose this guy. Oh god. I think he's heading. Oh man. He's on the highway. He's taking the highway. No, <laughs> I do not want the highway. I cannot chase you, my friend. Um, I must. I must. I implore you to stop your vehicle. Uh, my temperature gauge is in the red, it's off the dial. So I'm just gonna take it easy here. We're doing uh, almost 60 miles an hour, so um, we're doing a pretty good clip to sort of uh, keep tabs on him. Obviously don't want to lose him, but obviously mindful of my engine temperatures as well. So light effects here in the tunnel look nice. Anyway, um, that's there are more pressing uh, matters at hand at, at, at the moment. Um, that being that there is a lunatic on the loose um, with several open doors. Uh, so my headlights are working, thank god, still. Alright, I'm giving it a bit more stick now because I realise that he is getting away and I've kind of lost sight of him and uh, I really don't want to lose him because um, obviously on the highway there's only one direction he can really go, I guess, um, unless he wants to turn around and head back towards me, which is always possible. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, he seems to be doing pretty good still, unfortunately. I'm really sorry about this, um, sir. Uh, we tried everything and, uh, oh, the speed hump. We just couldn't stop him. Um, he continued to, uh, to bump his way through the town with, uh, parts of his car dangling as, as, as it were. Um, okay. Just want to be careful in these built-up areas. Obviously, want to have the siren on. We don't want any children running in front of the vehicles. Uh, we want to warn the uh, the populace of our impending approach, and hopefully, uh, not our impending doom. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. So um, I'm just going to sort of step it up a little bit here. I think I'm um, just going to wind her out. Um, I know the engine temperatures are really, really high, and uh, we are just really flirting with uh, danger here, but um, now that we've left the town, I'll, I'll turn the siren off anyway, yep, yeah. uh, just beep the horn a few times, there we go, okay, take it easy, take it easy, unfortunately this vehicle uh, it still has very skinny tyres, so um, yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll see if I can upgrade the tyres on the vehicle um, using the garage feature, which is how I upgraded the rest of the vehicle, anyway, um, let's see if we can give this guy a bit of a bump, on. We're in a good place now to take him off the road, uh, away from the town, away from any uh, people as such, um, if there were people in the game, but anyway. Um, 
Oh, that tire is still not looking good, but it unfortunately has not punctured, so... Um, this is, uh, he, he's mocking me at this point, so... Just a little tap for you there, Sonny. Oh, another little tap. There you go, there you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Stop your vehicle. Stop right now. Your vehicle is falling apart. Please, I beg you. There you go. Yep, there you go. That's the way. Done. Okay, maybe not. I still can't believe he's eluding us. And yet he's right there. Um, again, I don't have a massive vehicle with huge bull bar or anything like that. I don't have any ramming bars or what have you. And I've only got these tiny little pizza dish tires. Um, and I've got a, a somewhat powerful engine. But uh, basically it's it's a little tin can compared to his uh, tank, I guess you could say. There you go. Whoa, whoa, oh, no, 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 no. Quick, quick, reverse, reverse, grab reverse. Oh, we didn't grab it in time. Oh god, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now I unfortunately hit the right front there, so uh, my alignment's a little bit off. That's it, time for the siren now. Things are getting serious, so... Um, we have damaged him a little bit more, but unfortunately... Um, he seems to be uh, making good headway in, uh, in the getting away... Um, in the business of getting away. Which is... Uh, Funny that because I guess he's he's a bad guy. So anyway, um, my alignment is really off. It's I'm really struggling kind of to keep this car on the road right now. I really, really don't want to make a bad move here. If I hit one of those stone blocks, it's the end. Good night, good night, Irene. I believe my headlights are still working. Why hasn't he stopped? I really don't like these little stone blocks on the right hand side, they are uh, very intimidating. One bad move I tell you, with this little mid or rear engine vehicle, just pendulum around the corner and um, it'll be Red Rover. Okay, he's going left, so hang on left, hang on left, watch the curb. Come on, rip this thing out. Unfortunately, our engine temperatures have not been our friend. We are still very, very hot, but thankfully, our engine, um, I'm just trying not to, just keeping the revs reasonable for the moment. Just got straight and level, straight and level. Whoa, whoa, watch the guardrail. Oh, he's really, really all over the shop. Now he's in the middle of the road, even better. Well, I guess I'm on the wrong side now too, but anyway. I really don't know what else we can do for this guy. I mean, we've given him so many chances to stop and uh, he just, he really doesn't want to stop. We don't have a service revolver in the vehicle either. We cannot uh, put his tires out of uh, commission. Just kidding. Whoa, whoa, oh well, no. Stalled it. Start her up, start her up. Oh god, that's the pendulum effect. See, this is what I mean when you've got tiny little tyres. Things are getting a little bit heated now. Um, things are working against me a little bit more than before. My wheel alignment's off. Um, engine's really, really hot. Almost lost him, almost lost him. Come on, come on, we can't lose him now, we can't lose him. We've got to bring this thing to a head. We have to end this pursuit. Just taking it easy because I really do not want to lose it down here. Control is definitely more difficult now with the alignment out. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just do a nice sweeping little, whoa, 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 God, no, 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 left, left, no, whoa. Pendulum, pendulum, that's the pendulum. I'm okay, I'm okay. Uh, my police uh, career, however, uh, I'm not sure. Um, 
might just need to radio headquarters. Uh, my headlights are still working. Thank God. Headlights on. Uh, please radio base. Um, send help and a tow truck. Uh, we probably don't need that anymore either.